back to the Shred Shed. It's Mr. N with a very special guest today. We have with us the orchestra and also, I think, guitar occasionally and, and a choir director over at Saguaro High School, which, of course, is the direct feeder from Gridley. Now, we're going to let Mr. Mars tell us a lot about the programs there, and not just about the music programs, but everything else you might be curious about with regard to Saguaro. So, first of all, welcome, Mr. Mars. It's so good to have you. Tell us a little bit about what you do over at Saguaro. First, thank you so much for having me out. This is super fun. This is great to be here in the Shred Shed, the infamous Shred <laughs> Shed. Um, I have been working at Saguaro for 20 years, and I absolutely love it. It is, it is a family to me. And so uh, to tell you a little bit about why it's so important to me and about why I think Saguaro is so cool, one, of course, the orchestra is what I've been doing for the last 20 years, and all these other classes have come and gone into my schedule. But that orchestra is a family. I'm from Michigan originally, and that family that I have in Michigan I'm super close to. And I moved out here to Tucson, and I didn't realize that I was going to gain another family. And I did, and it's really cool. The students the entire way through, and the parent program, the uh, Suara Orchestra Parents Association, they are super involved, and they really care about what's going on. So that, number one, is amazing. Two, I work with great people. Throughout the years, I've been lucky to work with not just the people in the fine arts department, but in the other departments. They are kind, they're there for the right reasons, they're amazing educators, and I really have a lot of respect for them. Um, some of them I have learned a ton from, and so I really love how Saguaro has awesome fine arts, awesome uh, academics, and then we also have some really great sports programs, and those sports programs are, uh, are, are such that students really invest themselves in it. So they're spending time before school, they're spending time after school, and sometimes that can be really difficult in terms of their time and getting the schedules worked out, but it's to such a great benefit. One uh, thing I wanted to mention is that with all of those cool programs, some students have a tough time figuring out what it is that they want to do because they're afraid that they can't play football and be in orchestra at the same time. When in fact, it's really cool how we all work together and how at a concert you might show up and see one of the cello players run in at the last minute in her volleyball outfit and sit down and play three pieces. Get up, bow, and go back to the, to the meet that they have been, the, you know, the volleyball game that they've been playing. So it's really a great place. And lastly, we've got administration that I have, I have worked for many principals and I really have a, a lot of respect for and feel very lucky that I work with all of the administration that we have. So Excellent. I love it. Nice. Can you tell us a little bit more about the other electives that might be, you know, on their list of, of, of choices? Absolutely. And there's so many fun ones. So we are very lucky at Saguaro because we have so many electives that you can choose from. We've got a great theater program. We've got a really fun choir program. Those people are just a, a family in and of themselves as well. The band has a concert band, a jazz band, a marching band, a, uh, a little rock ensemble. Um, we have several, we have three different levels of guitar, and actually we have three, currently we have three different guitar teachers as well. So Miss Engel and I, teach the beginning guitar classes, and then we've got an amazing guitar player named Logan Green, and he is just fantastic, and he teaches our intermediate and our advanced guitar class. Um, and then we have uh, visual arts. Both of the two teachers who do visual art are really fun and really care about what's going on. Um, we just started a clay program, and so I'm really excited about that. Outside of fine arts, we have a lot of CTE programs, and uh, besides that, there are just a plethora of um, uh, phys ed classes, badminton, etc. It's so fun to be a part of it, and it's great to have all of those choices and options. Excellent. Thanks very much. All right. 
So one of the things that I've always loved doing with my orchestra students is bringing them over to Saguaro where we have our annual Dia de los Muertos celebration where we dress up in masquerade style, everyone gets into their costumes and we play, you know, the tune by, um, I believe it's Richard Meyer, Dia de los Muertos, and everyone has a big blast playing it. That's one of the highlights of my entire year and it usually happens right around Halloween. Can you tell us more about the highlights that the kids can look forward to once they become Saguaro students and what kinds of trips you might take with them? Absolutely, and I too love the yeah. Dia de los Muertos concert. It's one of my favorite things that we do all year long as well. Um, but besides having opportunities for high school and middle school students to come together and get to know each other and hang out and play good music, we also go to festivals. Some of these festivals are in town, some of these festivals are out of state. So we've gone to Southern California almost every single year. And when we do, we usually try and make a bunch of different fun activities around it. And so um, we're very, very lucky in and of the fact that we've got a program that does a lot of extracurricular stuff. Um, and another thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that we work with teachers in the district who really like each other and they care about each other and that we collaborate to create these cool yeah. events. Yeah. It's fun. High school to high school, middle school to middle school, and high school to middle school, and elementary schools as well. It's so great. I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I can't tell you what an honor it is to have you here. Not only is Mr. Mars a phenomenal orchestra director, a wonderful human being, but he's also an Indiana University graduate in bass, which is one of the top universities in the entire world to study music. So I can't tell you how lucky we are to have you here in Tucson, and I look forward to having many more exchanges with you. That's great. I really appreciate you having me to the Shred Shed. All right. Thanks. All right, catch you next time at the Shred Shed.